Kunal, uh, you're seeing the rate at which we are throwing up unicorns. It's almost as if you wake up every single day and Sanjay is smiling because he's a part of the story and uh, some of it is not just going to other coffers but staying back home. Uh, but is this something that you believe, the, this phenomena, do you believe is sustainable? And also, how many of these new found unicorn status companies do you see be able to sustain and run uh, businesses in a continuing fashion over the years to come? So, great to be here, uh, Raul, and thanks for having me. And good evening to everyone. You know, I think this, uh, there's, there is too much focus on valuations and unicorns and relatively less focus on the problems that they are solving. One of the interesting things that we all know is that India has tons of challenges, tons of problems. And what each one of these companies, and not just them, but the many hundreds and thousands of other startups are doing, is actually solving fairly structural problems, but incredibly elegantly and efficiently using technology and innovative, very innovative methods. Now, uh, the, the question that is often asked is, all these companies are losing money, so why are they worth so much? When investors look at this, these companies, and you know, Mr. Nair here can, can guide further, they, they look at what the future potential of these businesses are. What are the moats that they've created? What is the infrastructure that they've created that can, creating, that can, over a period of time, create lasting, enduring businesses? Because fundamentally, the problem they're solving is a problem worth solving, and it's a very large one. And I, uh, I would go as far as to say that most of these companies will be very much around and most of these companies could be worth a lot more than what they're worth today, while that may sound shocking to many, but um, you know, up till a few years ago, it seemed shocking that there would be even one company worth $1 billion in India. So we've come a long way as a startup ecosystem and you only have to look in the rear view mirror and see the distance we've covered to, to, to just believe in what will happen next. Sanjay, are we seeing a real shift of money, uh, venture capital from a market like China, which is now clamping down on its tech behemoths, to India? And is that part of the reason why we're throwing up so many unicorns? Is it just the size of our population and the fact that we're digitizing at the speed at which we are, that it's only inevitable that this be a sustainable business? No, I, I think this is purely for the reasons of India. The size, the demographics, the demand, and hopefully, you know, again, future sustainable growth, bigger discretionary spending, changing buying behavior, adoption of e-commerce, all of those things. So it's happening on its own, and I think great entrepreneurs coming up, like Kunal sitting here, and as he said rightly, interesting moats. Uh, you, you, you do fulfill a consumer demand, a consumer need. You're feeding into consumer behavior. A lot of money will come into this. And the other reason the money is coming in is that I think there is a fairly high degree of comfort that now in this area, uh, government interference is not there, and you know they can really do business um, in a in a very predictable way. And I think you ought to give credit to the government; they have really encouraged the sector. They have obviously done a lot of digitization. You've seen, you know, pretty good formalization of taxation rules. So all these things, you know, do matter to create an environment. You know, not just because uh, it's just the size of the market; it's a much predictable market. Um, you know, so I, I think that's the other reason why there's a lot more You know, you're talking uh, about predictability of policy. If you're an American e-commerce company at this moment, predictability yeah, of policy is not something that you'll be talking about. Kunal, is this in some senses unfair uh, to global corporations investing in the India story, given that at various times the government seems to have these pangs of uh, Desi nationalism and protecting uh, the, the, the commercial interests of our homegrown companies? You know, I'm, I'm just a mere startup founder, so I think uh, the, the, the questions around policy are way above my pay grade. Um, and I'll leave the policy making to the policy makers and, I'll, and we'll just follow the policies when they come out.